Well, today we're just 30 minutes or so from one of Germany's great historic cities, Heidelberg. We're at the Pre-Zero Arena in Zinsheim. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Hoffenheim facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. A look at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. Oliver Baumann is given the green light in goal. Angelino plays with Pavel Kadozjabek in the fullback positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the game begins. Bebou. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And he was in the right place to intercept. Can he put it away? Really important tackle. Well, the word dynamism certainly applies to Marco Reis. Stuart, what do you expect to see oh, from him? Can he finish it, Derek? And keeping it out. And played short. And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Kadozjabek. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Feeding it through here is Royce. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Delaney. And they have possession again. Promising attack, this. Makes the move to the inside. And getting across to stop it.
and deciding to go short with this one. He takes aim. Oh, good save. Angelino. Perfect challenge. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. Oh, he looks threatening. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Delivering it. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Promising pass. And possibilities inside the box. Corner to Borussia Dortmund. What can they do with this one? taken short Pumas a oh, big opportunity able to clear the danger at least for now Wolf he could pick out a teammate gives it a go and doing all he can to grab his second of the game well he's been a real live wire today a constant threat to this back line Trying to pick out a teammate, and he got to it fairly easily. And the emphasis is on creativity, and teammates to play it to. Chan, well, he stopped them in their tracks. Well, Dortmund have certainly bossed the possession over the last 15 minutes and with it have created some great openings. They certainly look as though they get another before too long. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Really vital interception here. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Brandt. Who's Chan? Well, he's given us away. Angelino. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Nicely timed tackle. Can they hit on the break? Chance to finish. Chan, trying to lob the keeper, and splendid goalkeeping. Well, it's a decent attempt, but in the end, not enough. And as you say, good goalkeeping. And offside, just as he was ready to pounce.
Well, there it is. The first half has come to an end here at the pre-zero arena. And it was a fine first half showing by Julian Brandt. Sum it up for us. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So back underway, Dortmund with the lead, but certainly no room for complacency. Angelino. Could play it in. really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. I must say, this looks promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? He's in with a chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Uh, the corner played into the box high class defending right on the goal line oh the referee has given it penalty it is And a chance for 2-0. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Brooks. Dolberg has it. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Giving it a try. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Thirty minutes to go then, and play halted, free kick given, and a substitution in the offing. Well clattered away. A lot of space afforded Borussia Dortmund. And played in. Not really the ideal clearance. Brandt. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now can they create something? And he takes it on! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And he's fired over the corner. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Chan. Oh, that's an interesting pass.
Well, body in the way. Marco Reus! And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And that's a top-class finish from Royce. Just look at the power in the strike. No chance for the keeper there. Two nil now, and back underway. Andre Kramaric. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Brandt. Wolf with it. Interception to snuff out the danger. Just 15 minutes remaining. Andre Kramaric. On to Rudi. Bebu Kramaric Nicely timed tackle This might be ideal for the counter They need to get bodies back But timely defending when it mattered Kramaric has eyes for goal! Now that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. And the short option preferred. Head over towards the back post. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Guerrero. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Learn to win it back. Rice. And slipped through beautifully. Can he put it away here? There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. This is looking threatening. And cutting in from the flank. 
still alive and thumped away and that is the end of the game it goes into the history books as a home defeat you're absolutely right Derek while the result is poor the display was even worse they never got to grips with the opposition they were second best in every facet of the game they need to do a lot of improving before the next time out and he put in a really thorough performance here Stuart yeah I think the only thing you could question could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal maybe should have had two or three today regardless of that it was a good performance and a great result